Hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. What's going on? What's going on? Another day in the markets. It is Friday, wrapping up another week. What are we today? Today's August, what, August 9th, 2019, flying by. All right, guys, so what do we see in the markets yesterday? Let's get into it. So, um, just fucking rampage. Spy's been on a rampage, obviously, you know, taking, what, two, three, four, I think it's the third, what, third or fourth day, third day. Um, solid bull run, you know, obviously coming out of, you know, the, the trade talks, uh, from U.S. and China, going back and forth, positive, negative, positive, negative. Obviously, you know, the futures market's down, so we're seeing, uh, obviously, some uh, pre-market uh, sell-off um, across the board. Um, now, futures market doesn't necessarily um, automatically continue into the U.S. Um, bell the, the previous day. That being said... It's definitely something to take into consideration when you're building your thesis. So, um, always, always, you know, always, you want to come into the session knowing what's coming out of Asia, knowing what's coming out of Europe. Um, it just gives you more of an insight as to what's ahead possibly for the U.S. market. So, anyway, everything's down. Not necessarily going to continue to go down, but you will see some action going right out of the bell. And if it's going to continue, then you'll have some some obviously solid opportunities to the downside. But right now, we got personally we got nine going into our watch list. We're going to kick it off with um, for Tesla. Um, Tesla obviously had a uh, the whole market was closed up green. Obviously across the board, energy actually uh, sector wise took top dog. Utilities was on the bottom. Even utilities closed um, up uh, over a percent. So everybody was just running. It was strong day across the board. So um, Tesla uh, obviously had a nice solid day yesterday as well. Um, holding that 50 day on the daily, which was got a very very nice bounce. All eyes are on this you know 245 ish level. So are we going to see this run today? We'll see. Um, that being said, we, we we anticipate some nice, solid continuation from Tesla. So um, we got a bullish sentiment on Tesla going into the market today. Um, obviously, after the dust sales, we're going to see if we're going to be able to mitigate any pullbacks. Next up, we got Spotify. Same situation. We got some action after hours in pre-market as well. It caught, it caught our attention. It's holding all of its levels quite strongly. Um, and obviously, you know, this is a sector that gets used across the board. Tech sectors, you know, obviously was getting hit through the talks with the tariffs. But uh, past couple of days, it's pretty much on the top of the list um, sector-wise. So um, Spotify's in that sector. Obviously, as you know, that being said, we still think that these guys um, will be pushing. Um, so, you know, unless, you know, there's a crystal clear um, view from the street, we think uh, this is going to keep uh, pushing higher. So we're bullish on um, uh, Spotify moving into Friday's session. QCOM. Um, now we're going to the bear situation. So we think these guys are going to be pushing lower, coming up on its 50 on the daily, um, two solid days back to back. Um, but, you know, we think it's going to fade off a little bit. Um, obviously, there's some more chatter coming out of Asia. So we think that this is going to be one of those um, companies that's going to be, you know, kind of getting hit with that uh, with that situation as well. So um, obviously, tech, or, tech sector is going to be getting blasted, you know, always gets blasted any problems coming out of China. But we think QCOM is going to be at the top of the list as far as getting uh, hurt the hardest. So we're going to look for QCOM to fade out today. Any Obviously, any opportunities we have to mitigate, we're going to step in. Baba, obviously coming out of China, um, had a, a solid day yesterday up just shy of, or just north of three points. Uh, it's coming up on its 50 in the 200 day on the daily, so we've got some strong overhead resistance. Um, we think it's going to pull back into today's session and possibly into Mondays as well. Apple, Apple cracked that uh, 50 day, which was holding it down, which was obviously, you know, um, all eyes were on that 200 level. It cracked it. And then obviously, as you can see, it's it's kind of fighting, trying to defend the level uh, pre-market is right now. So if it does not hold this 200 level, which it it may, um, if it doesn't, you're gonna see it kind of sink back down into this, uh, you know, low 190s. So um, that being said, if it holds, and you should be able to, you know, have some nice uh, opportunities to risk off of. If not, then you're gonna maybe see some push to the uh, downside. We think it's gonna, we think it's gonna dip back in the 190s personally. So uh, that's what we got going on in our thesis. Um, if it has another different sentiment coming out of the street, then we're gonna change this. But that's what we're looking at right now going into the session. NVDA, same situation. You know, you got this, you got the 50 overhead. Um, it's uh, holding it down. 200 is coming down as well, you know, in the sector. NVDA is going to be getting hit coming out of China, so we're going to be uh, we're going to be bearish on on NVDA for the time being until it's a crystal clear run. 
Next up, Roku, as we were talking about earlier. Um, Roku, you know, it's a strong company. You know, every it's been a, it's been an uptrend since its IPO. You know, obviously it's had some significant pullbacks here and there. Um, the biggest one, obviously, at the beginning of this year. Uh, but since then, it's been running strongly. And obviously, coming out of a nice uh, earnings report, it shot up, it held that 50 quite nicely. So that 50 is going to be a nice, solid uh, defend level moving forward into the future for Roku that you could obviously base risk off of. Um, that being said, you know, it was just a monster run up just a little bit north 21 points. So, uh, you know, we, we think that short term traders might have an opportunity to, um, you know, take a short on these guys go today's session. Um, not long term, long term, this thing's going to move. I think it's going to move north, but um, short term, I think you see some pullbacks for right now may give you an opportunity to take a couple points here and there. Um, so we're, we're bearish today on Roku. MBB, man, MBB running. Fucking hell running, man. So they held that uh, 132 level that we had. So it's in the bottom of the channel. Obviously coming up on the 50. The 50 was their best friend for the longest time. It was always coming down to the 50, bouncing right off of it. So it's running up on the 50. We think it had two strong, uh, two, three days, three updates, but two basically really strong updates. Um, we might see some uh, profit taking going into uh, the end of the week today. So we're going to be bearish today on MBB. Netflix, another situation. Obviously, you know, defending that 300 level, which it badly needed to do. Um, you're seeing some selling pressure after hours in pre-market as well. So um, obviously, you know, it has everybody has all eyes on this 200. But we we think that um, you know you might see some selling today um, back to that 300 level. I'm not sure it's going to finish the week strong. Nonetheless, we're definitely going to sit back and watch and see what uh, what the street gives us. Um, going after the you know the session after the bell and after the dust settles, so we're gonna be bearish, quote unquote, on today's session um, contingent on what we're gonna see coming out of about the 10 a.m. period from the street. So that's what we got going on, guys. We got nine. Um, as always, you know, we want to encourage you um, come check out the site if you want to know how we're doing it, how we're trading these stocks, how we're building our watches, the setups we use, strategies we use. Come check us out. We come check us out at thestreettrading.com. We get you sorted on the 90-day course. Answer that question: Why? Get you profitable. Get you consistent. Get that confidence up. Get that conviction up. At the end of the day, guys, that's what it's all about. It's nice and steady. This is chess. This isn't checkers. You see, you feel what I'm saying. So, come check us out. Any any questions? Reach out to us. Give us a call. Shoot us an email. We are here for you. Um, and that's it, guys. Have a great day in the market. You know, as always, you know, we always tell you just be very patient with your setups. Be patient with price. Let let everything come to you. Do not chase. You chase, you die. Respect your stops. If you're wrong. Cut your losses. Wrong. It happens, guys. That's that's the business we're in. You know what I mean? Chalk it up as a as a lesson. Understand where you made the mistakes. Cut your losses. Move on. Right. That's what it's all about. Short term memory when it comes to these kind of things. You understand it. Learn it. Don't get emotionally invested. And then move on and then make some money. Have a great day in the markets, guys. Any questions, reach out to us. We're here for you. Patient. Talk to you soon. Have a good one.